Hey guys, welcome back to XTA. Today I'm going to show you how to root your device. In the same process, I'm going to show you how to unlock your bootloader and also install a custom recovery if you ever choose to decide to change your ROM on your device. Let's check it out. So the first thing we want to do when we start with this process is download a few files and also make sure that you have the correct version of the drivers. If you don't, please download those before you start any of these processes. And the other thing we want to do is download this toolkit, uh, the, actually this toolbox. Version is 2.0 and you want to download the one that says 64 gigs. So I went ahead and downloaded that and it's basically the OnePlus One toolbox versus two, version 2. And it downloads itself and saves itself in a folder, gives you all the information. The reason why I like this version over the other ones is once you download it, it actually has all the files that it needs included in the same place. So it actually has a, a version of uh, Cyanogen installed in there, uh, as well as actually the different recoveries that we want. So you have the Clockwork mod, Fills recovery, Stock recovery, and Torp at the same place. And of course, the root file. The one thing I did, we want to make sure that is, uh, if you don't want to update it right away, you can install it and then update. But uh, the one provided with the toolbox comes with version 1.99, and the actual application has been updated to version 2.01. 2.01. So download those files, and we'll get to that level. Next, we want to do is actually make sure that we understanding that this is a process that will unlock our bootloader, which also means that we are gonna arbitrarily flash or wipe our entire device. So once we do that, you need to make sure that you actually back up your device information and all of that before you go to that next step. And if you're comfortable with that, the next thing we're gonna do is turn off our device. We'll feel a vibration and once the device is off, you hold volume up and power at the same time. You'll feel a slight vibration and then you're gonna be able to see this little Cyanogemon logo right here. We'll put that back in here. Okay. Next thing we're gonna do is actually go into our device itself, actually uh, back on our PC, and uh, we're gonna be able to actually unlock the bootloader which is gonna be the first thing. But next, we need to first connect our device. If your drivers were installed correctly, you're, you wouldn't have any notification. Your system installs all the drivers. Next, we're going to go in and actually initiate the command that says unlock bootloader. It gives us a warning message. Just basically make sure that you know, the device is in fast boot mode and then your information will be you know, obviously wiped. We'll click OK. So now that we actually unlock the bootloader, we notice that it's given us the options of going through. Oop, we'll skip there. We're going to say skip. We're going to say next, 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 all the way. Let the device set itself up. We're going to disconnect the device one more time and then at this point we're going to shut it down and go back into the bootloader. Wait for the vibration. Okay, now we'll do the same thing again. Up, power, feel the vibration, leave it. Okay, so we're back in the boot, uh, into, the fa into fast boot. We connected our device. The device is still sitting in fast boot. We're going to go in here and actually change the actual recovery itself. I'm going to go with twerp, just personal preference. You can go with fills. You can go with the clockwork mod. It's up to you. Um, it's connected. I'm going to go ahead and say say flash. It's going to make sure it tells us, please make sure your device is in fast boot. Hit OK. We'll see the process go through. It's done. Okay, so now we're in the actual uh, recovery itself. We rebooted into it. You can see basically that the actual recovery is in there. You're able to like, actually reboot the device. So we're gonna normal do one thing real quick is we're gonna reboot the device. And actually went into bootloader mode by mistake. We're gonna reboot the device all the way. Okay, unlock the device. Connect it to your PC. We'll go through, wait for the device to show up. Here it is, it says one. And all I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna copy this file and then put it on the root directory. Just doesn't have to be anywhere special. Once it's done, close, reboot the device into the recovery and we can do that directly. Or if you'd like, you can turn on the, uh, the advanced power menu inside of the CM build. But at this point, we don't need to connect our device anymore. We're gonna hit power, power off, click OK. And then we're gonna go through the recovery process of installing this. It's off. 
Now, recovery on the OnePlus is volume down plus power. You'll feel the vibration, leave, let the device boot up. It takes a little longer to boot into recovery than it is to boot into fast boot, so just give it a second. Okay, we'll go install, scroll all the way down to the bottom, find your zip file. Swipe to, to install. We're done. Okay, we're waiting for the system to reboot after we install the file. It's going to say that it's Android is upgrading, obviously, since we flashed an update. It's in a form of update for these actual uh, root files. We're done. We'll go ahead and unlock. I'm going to reset the... Actually, we'll go here. Change the brightness a little bit so you guys can see where we are. Now, this is, this is basically as fresh as possible. The device itself has been actually, you know, as you know. So we're going to go super user. We'll say thank you since I already follow him. And we're done. The actual device is actually rooted. It's currently running. So I went ahead and installed an actual root application that I know definitely works. And it's one of the main ones that you could see. It's requesting root privileges and it's been granted. And sure enough, everything is good. The only other thing I think I'm supposed to do, which is going to tell me, is make sure to turn on USB debugging, debugging on. Uh, but we can do that at a later time. Simple, easy process, uh, and you can always uh, undo basically what you did if you'd like. You can always flash back the stock recovery and lock your bootloader by just going through the same processes and following the instructions. Hope you guys like this. As usual, like and subscribe to this channel, like and subscribe to my channel, and I will see you guys soon.